Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers. And today, we're going to be redesigning this fake ballista, as the comments have let me know on the last episode of this when I actually made this thing. Um, my goal was to build a ballista, but apparently, this is more of a slingshot. Because uh, the way that this thing adds tension and uh, therefore launches the arrow or the bolt or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's kind of the string that I'm pulling back, but uh, which makes it kind of a slingshot apparently. But if I want to make it a ballista, I guess I don't want to pull the string back. I want to essentially, the, the tension, the flexing comes from this part right here, which I don't know what to call it. I guess I'll call it like the bow part, the actual like wood. So I thought it might be kind of fun to redesign this to actually be more realistic like a, like a ballista would be. And then we can compare it to see if it fires any differently than this one does. It took me a while to get this thing dialed into a point where it fires in a nice, relatively consistent and smooth way without destroying itself. But uh, we ended up doing it. Hopefully, with that knowledge that I've learned from that uh, episode, we'll be able to have a much more smooth process of building this next thing. I think I'm just going to build from scratch again. I'll keep the arrow though. Let's go ahead and separate this arrow and we're going to save this as, as its own thing. Okay, to start this off, this is going to be the center of the main bow aspect of it. And I'm just going to have uh, two sections of suspension coming off of here. And how long we make this is going to determine how much tension we're going to be able to pull back on this thing. And we gotta be careful with how much tension we put on it because I realized in the last episode that uh, changing how far you pull back these suspensions has a dramatic impact on the stability of the creation. So let's start off with, I don't know, I feel like maybe just a little bit longer. Let's start off with that. All right, so here is the bolt and this is actually pretty massive. I'm trying to make sure that the bolt is going to have room because like I, t I just I, it needs to be able to go through here without hitting itself hitting the own hitting its own creation because if I have it in line with the bow here obviously this is going to hit unless they create a bigger gap but if it is above it shouldn't be too bad so similar to what I did in the other one I'm going to have a zero strength steering hinge maybe not zero strength but maybe just like really really low strength so it still applies some force like the string itself will still have some force, just not nearly as much force as the suspension. And I'm literally gonna make the string out of pipe pieces for this. The string design itself is turning out to be more difficult to conceptualize here than I was expecting because it's not like an actual, you know, string. This isn't where the tension should be coming from, but it still needs to be able to flex. So I think I may have to put uh, these hinges both at the ends and the middle of the string. Because I'm thinking about how a string is going to be oriented after, you after it gets pulled back. There's an angle over here and there's an angle where the arrow is notched as well. So I'm just gonna give this a try and see what happens. All right, so I think I got a prototype here ready to go. Um, this isn't the same exact system I have for pulling the arrow back as I have on this one. So let's go ahead and spawn this thing and let's give it a try. So, oh, it's already causing issues. Okay, hold on, what if I repair? All right, that, it's okay, it's okay so far. So I have the same exact number of pistons as I have on the other one, however, <laughs> dang it, <laughs> please work. <laughs> Maybe, oh, oh wow. Oh, that looks legit. Except for the fact, hmm, the bow isn't actually flexing that much, which is very concerning to me, however, I think I can change how strong the string is, and that may actually be what I need to do. Because the, str the string should bend, but it should have resistance, you know? Alright, so let's see. Oh, yeah! Now we got some more flex in the actual bow itself. However, this isn't looking very good. Well, anyway, let's release and see what it feels like. Alright, that didn't... That didn't feel like it was gonna be too good. I don't have the uh, arrow programmed right now to release yet because I need to figure out how fast this thing even goes. All right, here, let's do let's do a quick one. Um, I'm gonna have it release 0 0.07 seconds after I press the button. All right, let's see how this feels and go. I'm actually surprised it went that far. We could probably apply some more tension to this thing. I'm also gonna add another layer of um, suspension here too. All right, let's see how this feels. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, there's one interesting thing about the suspension. Here, let me adjust it so that they are very, very stiff. I don't know how that's going to affect things. But yeah, the suspension is not only bending in this direction, 
but there's a compression force happening when I do it this way. And I think that's what's causing some of these issues. Oh no, this is bad. Maybe I should have just kept it the way I had it before. Yeah, this, is, this doesn't work anymore. I'm gonna go back to the two layers of suspension instead. Man, I did not consider this. With this design over here, since we're pulling from the center and it's attached at the outsides, we're actually stretching the suspension. But with this one, since we're actually pulling from the outsides and it's attached at the center, it's actually compressing the suspension, which a normal ballista, it wouldn't compress like that. But because these are suspension pieces, that is what we're dealing with. There may be another option here, though. What if it's not suspension? What if it's steering hinges? Let's give this thing some more chances here, because right now, that actually looks pretty legit. Let's see what happens if I add even more stiff. Let's just go 100% strength on the steering hinges here. Whoa. Whoa, that looks so legit. That looks good. Okay. So now... I want to experiment with pulling it back even further. So one, two, three, four. Because this is where the fine tuning comes into play, is how far can I pull back the suspension without it glitching out? All right. Slowly. <laughs> All right, so this definitely doesn't feel like it's quite as strong yet as uh, our slingshot version of the ballista, basically a fake ballista. Well, let's go ahead and set this up so we can angle it up and down, just like that one is angled upwards. We're gonna give it some wheels, the ability to drive around and all that. And hopefully that'll allow us to get some more distance and compare more accurately to how strong this is compared to the other one. All right, here we go. Now we're actually angled up here. We can get a nice arch on our shot. So let's see how well this thing does. That's not a good sign. Okay, so we definitely seem to have... Oh, that was good. That was definitely not as strong, though, as our uh, slingshot is. Let's put a pin in this one, and let's try a completely different method for the tension system. So now, instead of suspension, what if we actually use a series of steering hinges? These steering hinges aren't going to have a control in them. And we just gotta we just gotta set the strength. Let's have half strength at first, just have like a middle ground and see where we can go from there as we do this. Okay, here we go. So I've never done this before in this game. I've never used steering hinges as tension like I do with suspension. And whoa. Oh, okay, okay. There's a I see what the problem is here. Problem is I need these to be actually attached right at the end as well. Okay, that should fix the shape now. Oh, if it would let me pull it back. What is going on here? Okay, come on, trailmate. What? Why is that? I'm not... <laughs> what is happening now? <laughs> this was supposed to go smoother because I already had most of the ideas, like, <laughs> solidified. <gasps> oh, there we go. That... There's something weird happening at the ends, but you know what? Let's release the tension and see what happens. That seems stronger. That seems legitimately stronger. All right, at the risk of lagging this thing out, uh, I'm going to make this have twice as much steering hinges in it. All right, let's see how this feels. This is a lot more steering hinges, probably a lot more for the game to try to calculate. Oh no, oh, that doesn't look good. But it launched, didn't it? Can we do that again? Oh, that, that really does not look good. But it's working. Okay, what if we double it up? I know this is probably a really, really dumb idea. But I like trying dumb ideas because you never know what you... Okay, I think it's way too strong now. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa! Oh, we can still do it. Oh my goodness, look, I'm not moving. I mean, I am, I'm moving, but I'm not doing that. That is, that, that force is not being applied by me. All right, I'm trying to counteract it now. There we go. Okay, ready? And fire. Don't know what happened with that one. Let's try again. Okay, I think we may be too strong. Too strong for our own good now. Maybe I'm releasing, maybe this, pro, maybe it's going so fast that this needs to be programmed to release even sooner. I'm going to do 0.03. More than twice as quickly, we're going to release the arrow now. All right, that was still weird. That was still really weird. Ooh, 
That one was good. Yeah, we're having a major consistency issue like we did last time. It could just be how far I'm pulling it back. I don't understand. There's like a... He did, the trajectory... <laughs> I don't know what I like better. I don't know if I like this version or the uh, suspension version better. All right, here's the suspension version. Suspension version feels better. I think I'm gonna go with the suspension version. All right, I've done a bunch more test shots. It, it has some hiccups every couple of shots or so, but it, it does have some, uh, there was a hiccup there, but it does have some, you know, level of reliability. Yet. I'm, I'm showing you right now how reliable this is, aren't I? See, there we go. We got a decent one now. So now let's compare it. What are you doing? <laughs> let's compare the performance of this after painting it up. Let's see if the performance of this is any different than the slingshot. All right, here we go. I mean, already the slingshot itself has more suspension on it. So I, I assume it's going to have more power, but we're on the same line here. Let's see how far from this line we can launch this thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can see the debris isn't going to stay there very long. All right, hold on, hold on. We see where it is. All right, it just disappeared up there. Now let's see here. Oops, <laughs> that's not, that's not the right button. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. And then. All right, so it's clearly, it's not as powerful right now, but that's just because this is, right, that one was better. That it's just, it's clearly not as powerful as a slingshot though. Is the slingshot the superior siege weapon? All right, let me see if I can handle adding another layer of suspension on this thing again. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there's some more strength there. Oh, you know what? That's actually at a steeper angle. There is an unfair advantage on the other one. We need to move these down like that. Clearly, the slingshot had a angle advantage. There we go. Now we're at a similar angle. If anything, we're at a slightly higher angle now, so maybe we'll even have the advantage over the slingshot. Ready? Oh! I'm surprised we're able to shoot. Last time I had three layers of suspension, it didn't work out very well. All right, let's do another test here. Yeah, it seems to launch not as much of a lob as this one does. Like this one just has a, look at how straight that flies out. Why does that fly out so straight? You know what? Oh, wow. This is so good. I think it's the launching mechanism. I think we got to change back from the pipes because that may, that may be making more of a difference than I was expecting. Let's give it a try. All right, here's the new system. So as soon as this thing spawns in, these claws here angle forward to grab onto these handlebars, basically. And as you can see, that keeps it just a lot more locked in. And that is the same method I was using with the other one as well. So we'll pull it back, release. The release still seems weird on this one for some reason. And I'm wondering if maybe it's just due to how the suspension compresses differently. <gasps> Ooh, I realized an issue. We're not actually getting as much suspension flex as I thought we were because these suspensions are attached to these blocks. So these two columns here, they're, they're just not bending at all. So I need to fix this. There we go. Okay, so now I think we just added a decent amount more tension onto this. That's farther. Can we get consistency out of this now? Oh, I think we are now maybe at a comparable level, comparable level to the slingshot. That looks good. Man, just little things like that can really change everything. All right, let's spawn the slingshot back in and let's do a test here. All right, here we go. Take a look at where it lands. Oh, that still does seem farther. Okay, now let's go ahead and fire this one. Wow. Why is this so much better? This is such a, this is a really interesting result here. Just look at that consistency. It's so much more stable and consistent than, oh, that, see, this one just has, it just has less speed. All right, well, either way, I can't build a new weapon here, the ballista, and uh, not have it shoot something. So we're gonna spawn in our target practice towers here. All right, and let's see if we can knock any of these down. Three, two, one, launch. Oh, that looks good. All right, we, we couldn't shoot it far enough, of course. So we gotta move ourselves a little bit closer. <laughs> there we go. 
how did that not explode? Why are you gonna do this to me? This is, this is supposed to be the fun climactic moment of the video. And, all right, now, now it's just embarrassing me. Ballista, Ballista, come on. Eh. Oh, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Yes, there we go. There's the destruction I've been wanting to see. All right, and there's, um, oh, we got some of the base, so there's, there's that at least. All right, come on, there, wh what? <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> this does not have an anchor block in it. The dynamite has literally lodged itself into the block, into the side of the building there. I don't know whether to be proud of that or feel like the game is out to get me here. <laughs> But I'm happy to try to do a whole, uh, the Robin Hood thing and try to hit my own arrow there and get a double explosion. Let's see how we do. Oh, wow. That was a really good launch, apparently. All right, let's back up a little bit. Try that again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, we hit the bottom. I just want to see that, that other arrow that's stuck in there. I just want to see that one explode. Come on. Ooh, we're getting hits. We're getting hits. Oh, that looks good. Yes, double explosion, and it topples the tower. That was perfect. All right, let's topple these other towers. If I just keep reloading here, I should be able to get some, you know, semi-automatic rapid firing. Okay, well, at the cost of terrible aim and glitching. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. How does that work? I think I just pulled off an impossible ricochet with an arrow. That is so weird. What, what is this game doing to me? I'm getting such good shots on these towers right now and it's just not giving me the satisfaction of the explosion when I need it. All right, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Ballista here. You gotta be kidding me. You, you gotta actually be kidding me. <laughs> what does the game have against ballistas right now? Is it not going to give me an explosion? Are point blank explosions not a thing? It literally won't give me an explosion that. Look at that. You can't ask for a more direct hit. Okay. Okay. Apparently we have to do it at a distance. Oh, <gasps> please, 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 please. Come on. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, it started <laughs> It started tipping right when I threw that one because of another one that actually fell out and hit the ground. All right, one more good hit and this tower is going down. Let's just get this final hit here. Let's just, let's just get this final hit here. Let's just get this final, oh, okay, okay. Let's just get this, let's just get this final hit here. Guys, I've been trying very, very hard to hit this final tower and... <gasps> My job here is done. Fine, I'm not even driving right now. Like this is, <laughs> this ballista has a mind of its own. <laughs> All right, ballista's done. He's checked himself out apparently. <laughs> okay, so I was, I was able to successfully transition the slingshot concept into a more finally accurate ballista concept. And uh, the results told me that slingshots are superior to ballistas. So perhaps instead of making giant crossbows, they should have been making giant slingshots. But uh, you know, back in the medieval times, unfortunately they didn't have trail makers to test out their ideas and prototype them like we do here in the future. So. Of course, anything that you test out in Trail Makers is obviously 100% accurate and reliable representation of how it's going to work to scale in reality. So if I ever happen to get a time machine and go back, I will inform them of my great knowledge and they will worship me as a god or burn me as a witch, one of those, either one. Well, let me know if you guys have any other ideas for stuff you'd like to see in Trail Makers. If you enjoyed this episode, you'll enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman and I'll see you next time. Bye.